from the Weather NorCal Command Center. This is your afternoon update. Well, there really are no big changes in the overall pattern here, at least for the immediate coast. But you start heading inland and what we're seeing here is a warming trend and it's starting today. We're going to notice that, especially out in Trinity County, and then it will peak probably on Friday before we start to see cooler temperatures going through next week. So just a small minor spike in our temperatures before we start to see those temperatures begin to drop again. Here's what it looks like for the North Coast. Now inland is getting warm, but not quite triple digits for places like Hoopa or Willow Creek. But you head out to the coast, you're looking at temperatures in the low 60s. Now for Trinity County, yeah, I think about 100 degrees, give or take, anywhere you go, especially for Weaverville, Hay Fork, and Lewiston. So yeah, we could get maybe even a little over 100 degrees, especially out in Weaverville. So there's your smoke forecast. And yeah, that's obviously being the biggest concern and the biggest uh, thing that uh, a lot of people are really thinking about. And of course, that smoke is going to continue to be a problem here. Now, it pushes eastward, so I think we may see some relief later on in the day today, especially in Del Norte and Humboldt counties. But in Trinity County, you may start to still smell a bit of that smoke here. Nothing major. I mean, you're looking kind of just barely outside of that hazy. So yes, it starts getting closer to that moderate range which means you could see more smoke and not to mention maybe smell it a little as well. Then we go into tomorrow morning and the smoke gets a little bit more dense, especially out to extreme northern Del Norte County. And then going through the afternoon, it doesn't look like it's going to get any more dense, but still the haze will be out there. And when you start seeing a lot of these oranges in here, that's, those are areas where you most likely will smell smoke and the air quality may drop a little bit as a result. But you head eastward into Trinity County, doesn't look to be quite as bad. So yes, it's still an issue. As long as that fire is burning in southwest Oregon, we will continue to have to monitor that smoke. And keep in mind, when we look at that smoke forecast, it really all does depend on the activity of the fire. So sometimes the, the fire may take a turn for the worst or things may get better and may not uh, really uh, have an idea that that's going to exactly happen. So that can, of course, change the smoke, smoke forecast very rapidly. But that just kind of gives you a general idea based on the current conditions. Now, the heat, this is what we're talking about here. That heat will also start to expand eastward here as we go into Saturday. So again, that peak is on Friday. Temperatures start to drop on on Saturday and then by Sunday, Monday and even into Tuesday of next week that heat expands and starts to push south and eastward. We as a result start to see those temperatures drop and then that heat will start to kind of come back in toward the end of next week. As it stands right now it doesn't look like a major increase but it's going to be an increase nonetheless. So you can see here for this afternoon, probably still looking at mostly cloudy skies out along the coast and then taking you through Friday afternoon, still a lot of that fog along the coast, but mainly sunny skies minus the haze elsewhere. There you can see a small corrective advisor expires at 9 p.m. on Friday, but that's kind of off the coast there. But really on the coast here, we do have a small corrective advisory that expires Sunday at 3 a.m. And to the west of that is that gale warning for the darker purple that will expire at midnight Friday night into Saturday morning. And we look at the wave heights and you can see for today, nothing changing a lot. But as we go into tomorrow, I think the wave heights will increase but just a little bit. Shouldn't be uh, anything all that dramatic. So we look at our marine forecast for today and those winds will be from the north at 5 to 15 knots. Waves from the northwest at 3 feet at about 6 seconds. We've got that patchy dense fog out there as well. So here's your forecast for your Thursday. Temperatures, as I mentioned, for Trinity County, yeah, I think we're going to see some triple digit heat, but just barely. It's just going to touch 100 degrees for a short period of time, then back down to the 90s. But you can see 96 for Hoopa, 98 for Willow Creek, and then we've got those low 60s as we'd expect here for the coast. So there's your 7 8 forecast. Cast. Crescent City, not much change as we'd expect, but you can see Hoopa, yeah, the peak is going to be Friday, Saturday. And then we're back down to the upper 80s, low 90s for Sunday, Monday, all the way through next Wednesday. And for Weaverville, yeah, about 100 degrees here, at least through Saturday, maybe even into Sunday, but more notable drop here by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with temperatures for Weaverville down into the mid 90s. And for Eureka, well, of course, no big shocker, right? 62 to 64. That's the average high for the next seven days. Overnight lows in the low to mid 50s under partly to mostly cloudy skies.